Hey there, Sano Peeps, how's it going? So let's go over this case. Here's a chest x-ray on a patient with RSV. They've noticed down the right lower lung that there's opacification here. They wanted to see whether there was pleural effusion versus consolidation or both. So on the lung ultrasound, we can see immediately at the chest base that there's consolidation. So here we have air, and this is the lower part of the lung. With consolidation, you can see some air bronchograms here. So these are little air. Here's a clip. You can see there's a tiny bit of trace pleural fluid. So here we have the consolidated lung, a tiny bit of pleural fluid, and the liver. With color Doppler, actually I'm using power Doppler here with a different color envelope, you can see the vascularity of the lungs, very vascular, and then the parts with air, you're not going to pick up color Doppler. This is good to make sure that if you see any hypoechoic areas that might be abscesses or lesions, you could put color Doppler. If it's an abscess, it's going to have peripheral flow, but no flow within the lesion. And here's a side-by-side -side with B flow of the lower lung with the consolidation. You can see the vascularity with the B flow. Now remember, consolidation is just fluid within the lung tissue. So the alveoli fill with fluid. They could also fill with pus. You could have hypoechoic areas, which could be necrosis or infarction or abscesses. And here's the left side for comparison. So you can see the rib with sh the ribs with shadow. You can see a very clean pleural line and then the A lines, which are reverb from the pleural line. You don't see any of that haziness that you see in the mid chest on the right, which could be also pulmonary edema. And here's a panoramic of the right. You can see here the pleural line, and then you can see where there's some pleural diffusion and that haziness here, and then this consolidated part right here with the diaphragm. All right, I hope you find this useful. Take care.